Chronicles. Silence. Good afternoon, cybersecurity community, and welcome back to Denver, Colorado. We are here at the end of day two of our two days of live coverage. My name is Savannah Peterson, joined by John Furrier. Very excited for this segment. It's always one of our faves, and I think this is the first swag segment we've done at a cybersecurity show. Good. Mandy has great swag. They're killing the food here, first of all. Yeah. I'm going to make it. You're going to have to check out my Instagram. I did a, a whole feature on the outstanding food they've had for all of us. We go to a lot of conferences. Yeah. We notice the food, and we also notice the swag. Savvy, the swag is a benchmark. It really is a to benchmark. Communities, um, and the engagement, <laughs> because it shows it's that the, the people here want to align with the community. Some communities are swag centric. Others are. Yeah. And so when there's swag, we see community. Wait, and, and that's true. And I got to say, show floor isn't the largest floor I've ever been on. However, they're punching above their weight in terms of swag. So I, I deliberately, sometimes I give John a free view of what we've got, but I deliberately didn't show him anything yes. that I'm about to show because I know he's going to love this first activation first. So. Talk about knowing the audience. The folks at Plex Track have done an entire golf themed accessory kit. So we've got the towel, we've got the tees, a, a nice little array of tees, and we also have the Pro 6 nicest, apparently the nicest golf balls in golf. They are custom, they are branded, and this is quite the kit. They're also giving away a $500 gift card to a golf warehouse that's basically like the target for golf. But I love this. I like that they went all in. Yeah. I love that it's branded. I know you're a golfer. What do you think? Would this, would this have attracted you to the booth? Yeah, our logo's on the balls too. I know, very, I know. Very important um, distinction that having that branded. in there. Purple color, bag matching, okay, but I give it a solid. As a UW Husky, I'm all for the purple, so this is great. Love the kit. I know that some of our production team is going to be in for the golf toys. I thought that would be fun. What are the other uh, you know, speaking of MYs and doing such a good job with their own swag, MYs actually has done a fantastic job of pulling together their branded experience. <laughs> We've got some exciting socks. We've also got a charger, which always comes in handy at these things, but again, branded just like the golf balls sometimes people give away things like this without that brand impression it's a total waste and they also have a airfly duo which allows you to listen to music it's it's a um FM adapter, so you and your travel companion or buddy can listen to the same audio, whether that be a Zoom call or something else. But quite a little fun kit from, you don't always see the event doing a great yeah. branded activation there. I thought they did a nice job. It matches our studio set here very well. Talking, uh, since we've had so many exciting guests on the show, I had to go over and say hello to our friends at PwC. They're giving away notebooks as well as toys. This little guy turns into a little robot shape and he also turns into a cube. John, I'm gonna let you play with him if you want while we're hanging out here. The, uh, the PwC booth guys warned me it takes a little while to turn it into a perfect square, but if you can do it, definitely give it a go. We are all about swag with intent. And one of the things that we definitely notice on theCUBE, and you and I always notice, is when swag is high quality. So many people aim for the lowest common denominator, and 80% of swag ends up in the landfill within the first year. It makes me very sad. So I was excited to see that the Google Cloud security folks went ahead and branded a North Face beanie. Very high quality, not cheapy, it's lined with fleece. We're here in Denver, it could have been freezing, instead it's nice and toasty. Although given how cold it's been on set. We could have used them that we, yesterday. We, we really could have used these beanies and yesterday. The logo is cool, we got the Google logo on there, that's solid. Yeah, no, it's cute, it's, 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 it's working out. It's, it's, it's swag we would wear. Speaking of high quality, and John, you brought this up with me before, one of your measures for quality is the softness yes. of the shirt. How That's a good one. soft is this shirt? This is a Threat Hunter shirt from right. Trellix. I, I appreciate that their marketing team cares about the quality. It really, it really does matter. I can't tell you how much it matters. And this is actually, oops, this is actually my first threat hunting shirt. Uh, I, I guess I don't have enough cybersecurity shirts. We get a lot of, of shirts at KubeCon, but not so much in this space, which is pretty fun. 
we also had we had a great interview with Coralite earlier today. They gave me a pin on my jacket, which is fun to add to the swag. Actually, next one my Android pins. They're also doing a really fun series of T-shirts. They gave us both this this Metallica inspired tee, which is quite fun. And I mean, when you're doing swag, why not have a little fun with it? Why not? Why not? Play it on things. Although this one isn't quite as soft as the other one. Yeah, I got soft, but they got good, good logo print. Master of packets. Yeah, exactly. Metadata, exactly. my favorite words. <laughs> but my <like> ransomware. <laughs> ransomware is a tactic. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not metadata even. is universal. <laughs> okay, I love that. Uh, you may not know this about me, but I am an ambiance person. It really matters to me, the lighting. I, I mean, I'm here on set, very well lit when I'm in my home or anywhere else. I love to be by candlelight, especially after you've been under fluorescent lights all day. I really like that the Threat Connect folks actually went ahead and gave out candles. Nice little way to calm down and chill out at the end of the day after you've been on the show floor. Smells beautiful. It's lemon verbena. This baby's definitely uh, it might have been might have been lighted in my hotel room tonight when I have a little zen or take it up to the hot tub. Yeah, have, have a truly chill out moment. Also on their ambiance at front, Fret Connect did a ring light. We're vain. We are oh a Showtime selfie ring light, no less. We're vain. We need to look good no matter what. You and I are always shooting stuff on our cell yeah. phones, so I had to had to make sure we grabbed one of those for us, which is kind of fun. And you know, I was feeling a little jealous when when we had the signed book from the team on earlier. So I went ahead and got myself a copy of the Defenders. And wow, Man. that's. I know you were looking for the ebook, but credit. yeah, I love the ebook, but that that's hard copy. It's but so I like cool. this. I'm I am a pulp person. I don't want to look at a screen any longer than I have to for work. So I don't ebook. I don't audiobook. I, we hear enough in our brains. I want to hold it and read it. So I am really looking forward to that. I think that's going to be rad. Let's look at that. And, uh, oh, so this caught my eye when I was walking the show floor with Ken and our production team. No, the, that's a winner. The team at Snap Attack is actually really going for it and giving away some booze. We see this sometimes, but especially being in a, a mile-high city, the climate's a little dry. A little whiskey on the throat might feel great. I'm tempted to pop this open right now. Great label. Yeah. Private barrel. I mean, got to give that high points. I know it looks pretty sweet. It definitely, it definitely caught my attention. They didn't give this to us, but we appreciate them letting us borrow it so that we could. They may not get it back. This segment. They, they may not get it back. We'll have to see about that. We'll have to, we'll have to fight over that. Ooh, and then just to tease one of our guests that's coming up this afternoon. And I actually really like this. I, I like our our produ our production team does with our camera kits. I have a lot of little bags with various little kits for me, whether they be for myself or in my van. And uh, Sentinel One, who's going to be on later this afternoon, has just. A nice little bag could be for your toiletries or personal items i might use it for all the little things i need on set my lipstick and uh throat drops and that sort of thing but practical we love to see the practical we love to see the pragmatic we're all about the fun innovation well branded i don't know i think across the board this was a pretty pretty strong showing i think that's about all i got to show you oh one more from uh Corlight. Corlight. they've got they went on the uh, thrasher pun like their metallica one and this is a threat hunter sticker so i now feel like a properly branded threat hunter john i think i might know what your answer would be to this but what's your favorite i do like the threat hunter pieces a lot um golf gets my attention uh, the private barrel smoke wagon i know it's a pretty good swag turnout this time yeah, around yeah i think the smoke barrel gets it um presentation quality all around yeah again that's a raffle item so technically doesn't qualify as swag Right, but it's. But we have had, we did have those Shinola watches when we were on in Detroit that they were giving away. I think there's like a little bit of a bumper, a right. little bit of room there. It sets the table. Yeah, it definitely sets the I table. I do like the fanny packs. I do think that's very practical. That it's wind, nice. Sentinel One, um, and and the golf ball, golf theme is good. But I, it's just hossa. Yeah, it, you know, it, it's tough. There's there's a lot of great stuff here. I think because I, I don't even play golf. I've, I've never even been invited to play golf as a, as a woman, unfortunately. It's just one of those things that happens. But I got to give Plex Track the credit. I love purple. I love that they went all in. They must know their audience very well. And, and I think that's, that, that's awesome. Then they I mean, aimed it to win. They, they knew that I would be attracted to the purple, at least, yes. perhaps. And, and, and I, I appreciate that they gave not just one piece of swag that you would have out golfing, but, but the whole kit and caboodle from the tee to the ball to the towel. So it's, it's, it's a totally oh, inclusive experience that I think it's going to be awesome. And then I would say my second fear is actually the candle because I think these little things are unsung heroes. You see a lot of pens, a lot of notebooks, I'd a lot like of chapstick. But, uh, but again, I'm here for the chill out. Everyone needs a little moment of zen. 
after the show. So, so this was a blast. If you're watching and you've never been to MWISE and you're a fan of security or you're in this industry, I got to say this event has been absolutely fantastic all week. It's been a joy yeah. to co-host with you. The swag's impressive. The guests are impressive. I feel smarter and I feel like we're collaborating on building a safer cyber world for us all. And the swag is good. And the swag is good. So thank you all for tuning in to our fantastic little savvy swag segment here at MWISE. We've got a power packed afternoon for you. Don't worry, we've still got five interviews left that are going to be absolutely fascinating, including Kevin Mandia himself. Very excited for that one. You're watching theCUBE here in Denver, Colorado. We're at MWISE. My name's Savannah Peterson. Thanks for tuning in.